Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how we can use emet um, extension inside brackets IDE. So for that uh, to take effect, all that you have to do is that uh, click on this icon and uh, search for, let it load for a minute and search for emet. So here you can see that the emet plugin is available. Uh, I mean, the extension is available. Click on install right now. I have already installed. So once you have installed, the next thing that you have to do is that uh, you can start utilizing this. And the way that you can use it, right now I'm on uh, uh, Mac machine. So on a Mac machine, the shortcut is uh, to press Command Shift and A and you will get this uh, little uh, input box where you can enter the short form of the uh, whatever that uh, you, are, you are trying to achieve. So in this example we are trying to achieve this uh, whatever that i have highlighted here in this text uh, editor so <clears throat> we want to achieve that uh, with very minimal coding so again once you are on brackets uh, press command shift a and uh, you'll get this input box <clears throat> excuse me so you can start uh, uh, you know writing the short uh, short code here so to start here, for uh, for you to get the div tag, just enter div, and you can see that uh, you know it it auto generates you uh, the closing and the end tags of div. And to get the ID, uh, you have to give hash, and give the ID value. I'm giving here div ID one, and uh, to get a class, give dot, and give div class one. To get an additional class inside the class give div class 2 and to get the form uh, give the greater than symbol and enter form to get the method as get you need to give colon and get and uh, right now i'm wrapping this uh, inside uh, brackets because i want to have a parallel child that is kind of a sibling so give greater than symbol and press table so you will see that the table um, uh, uh, you know start and end tags been auto populated and uh, to get the tr and td uh, tags there are some uh, shortcuts if you want if you want to generate a tr with a class name we can just simply say dot row it will auto generate like this and uh, the other way is also we can also generate it like this tr dot row <clears throat> now if you want to generate it five times let's say that i want to generate this uh, tr five times so just multiply it with five and you'll see that uh, it generates five times and for you to generate td five times okay let's say that you want to generate five times uh, the td tag and uh, let's say that you want to have uh, a class with uh, column so you can have it like this okay and let's say that you want to generate this also five times so you can give like this and uh, inside td if you want to specify any value so you can give like this let's say that i want to give index and uh, if i give any number it will auto generate but let's say that we want to uh, have an iteration count okay for that you can just give dollar symbol and it will give the count this is one way of generating td uh, you can also generate it in a different way if you want to generate five times you can just specify like this you can generate like this also and if you want to have only the last uh, uh, td tag with a class name of call you can have like this also so it's all up to you once you are done make sure that you press enter so you will see that it, get, it gets auto generated here just imagine how much of time it would have taken for you to type this whole thing right and how much time it would save really so that is all for this video if you have any feedback leave that in the comments if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section thank you